Okay, now I have to explain this again, and I hope I don't have to explain it anymore. Not that I mind explaining, I love explaining this. <laughs> but for your sake, I hope I don't have to explain it anymore because I want everybody to understand this. The way we do straight lines in here, we do not start with y equals mx plus b. Okay? Now, what many of you are doing is you're finding the slope between these two points, right? And then you plug that in for m and y equals mx plus b. And then you plug in the x and y coordinate of one of these and solve for b. Okay? Now, that's really good. We haven't even talked about doing that. But it's really good, but that's not what I want to see here. Okay? So don't do that. Do what I'm showing you. Because this shows you what the equation of a straight line means. Now, the y equals mx plus b also gives you information. Okay? You get from one to the other. But this is what we do on this test. Okay? So, we want the equation of a line through here. And I'll, I'll be specific. Later on, I'll just say use the slope equals slope idea to get the equation of the straight line. Or maybe I'll say, okay, you got two points. Write y equals mx plus b. Now write down two simultaneous equations and solve them. Okay? I'm not going to say use the slope-intercept form or use the point-slope form. Okay? Or the two-point form. Because they're all embodied in this process here. Okay? And I don't mind if you do that as long as you've done what I ask you to do first. Or second. I don't care. Show me both. I'm twice as happy. Okay? But this has got to be one of them, right? Okay, so... When you do the fundamental triangle, to avoid screwing up, like reversing rise and run, which is real easy to do, you've probably seen me do it, okay? Get careless. You write run equals uh, 9 minus 3, okay? And you write rise equals 17 minus 5. And then up here, maybe, just to be safe, you write slope equals rise over run, because you know this very well. Everybody knows slope is rise over run. So you're not going to mess it up if you know that that's the run and this is the rise. Now, if you don't write these down, it's very easy to get the rise and run backwards, and you want to guard against that, okay? There's no reason you should lose points just because you didn't want to write this out, okay? And since there's no time limit in the test, you're not under time pressure. You have time. It doesn't take long anyway. Okay? And that equals, and then you put it in a box, and everybody did real well with that. Okay? Uh, and, and you write rise over run. Now that's 17 minus 5 over 9 minus 3. And you could say, okay, that equals, because you can get actually get numbers here. Uh, <coughs> That's 12 over 6. Of course, I'll just simplify it and say that's 2, right? Okay? Assuming I did my arithmetic correctly. Let's, let's pretend I did anyway. Right? Now, there's also the hypotenuse and the midpoint that I'll talk about in a minute. Okay? Then what do we do? We do another fundamental triangle. And we could write it out separately someplace else, or we could append it on here. Okay, writing it out separately someplace else has its advantage because it's easier to label. You're not messing, you know, get it away from this so you don't have labeling interfering with anything. Okay, so which point do you want to use? How many want to use 3, 5? How many want to use 9, 17? Well, gee, I wanted to show off and show what I could do with that point, too. Okay, well, be that way. We're going to use 3, 5 and x, y. Because I say do the fundamental triangle with one of these points and the point x, y, right? And write down the slope. So what's the run? Well, you know it's x minus 3, and if you don't know, you review. Go back and look at videos, uh, ponder it till it sinks into your skull. 
okay, or preferably into your brain. You know, your skull's okay if it works. Now, okay, so we have that. So the slope is y minus 5 over x minus 3. Now the logic of this, and I would love to see the logic, but I'm not requiring it, but still if you can show me the logic and show me you understand this logic, I might even be a little more lenient on a later problem where your logic is a little shaky, okay? Because it'll impress me favorably, but don't worry about it if you don't, okay? What is a straight line? It's a set of points such that the slope between any two is the same as the slope between any other two distinct points. Okay? Make sense? So, x, y is on the line if and only if this slope is the same as this slope, right? Because if x, y is going to be on the line, then the slope from this point, which is on the line, right, to x, y has to be equal to the slope from here to here. Okay? This is a deeper understanding of what the equation means. And if you can see it on this level, it makes understanding of certain other things much easier. Plus, it eliminates a bunch of formulas that you would otherwise go around memorizing. Okay? So it leaves your brain less cluttered. Depends on how good you are at memorizing. Um, okay, well, and, and then the, uh, you know, well, if, if it's not on, if the slopes aren't the same, then it's not on the line, right? So it's a complete test of x, y being on the line. It can't be on the line if the slopes aren't equal. Okay, if it is on the line, the slopes are equal. So they're two separate statements and they're not equivalent. You want to maybe ponder that too. Anyhow, don't want to go too far beyond. So we get... Uh, IFF stands for if and only if the slopes are equal. Meaning that y minus 5 over x minus 3 equals 17 minus 5 over 9 minus 3. Of course that reduces to 2 and I didn't really have to write all that once I've reduced it over here, but I wanted to re-emphasize it, okay? So you get this equals to solve for y to get the slope intercept form. Since one of the topics that we're going to cover very quickly over the next couple of weeks is straight lines, and we've already covered a lot of it, this is really important, okay? And there's no reason anybody should miss it, okay? Because you will be asked to do it at least once and maybe twice on the test.